gonna do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo! Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Cali's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Cali's world. Friends, sorry, I'm right in the middle of letting the ouchie know just how ouchy it is. You are ouchie, ouchie. There is no one as ouchy as you. You might be wondering what happened. Well, it's kind of a long story, but I'll try to make it short. Do you like science? I love science. In science, you get to learn about our world by asking questions and doing experiments. That's when you put two different things together to see what happens. Experiments usually have reactions, like you could end up with a bubbling solution or something that changes color. My mom and I were just doing a special science experiment and we got a big reaction. I forgot what we mixed together, but as soon as we did, we got a cool explosion. Not like a big enough explosion to blow up my house, don't worry but a big enough explosion to make you go, Wowie! And that's exactly what I did. I went, Wowie! After the experiment was over, I thought it was safe to take off my safety gloves. Boy, was I wrong. I touched one of the test tubes by accident, and ouch! It was hot. It burned me. My mom did her best to help, but she said it would have to heal before it would stop hurting. So I think I'll talk to my ouchie and try to make it heal faster. Ouchie, you heal right now. Okay, heal. I'm serious. Not kidding. You're still hurting. You're not healing. Or at least I don't think so. Are you healing, ouchie? Oh, my ouchie can't answer me. <laughs> Friends, I know I have to wait for ouchies to go away. But I remember learning in church that Jesus sometimes made ouchies heal super fast. Whoa, I wish I could do that. Want to find out more in today's Bible story with me? Yay! Ouchie! It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Luke, chapter 7. A Roman centurion lived in the city of Capernaum. A centurion was someone who led part of an army. The centurion had a man working for him who was very sick. Word spread throughout the city that Jesus was in town. The centurion heard that Jesus could make sick people well. So he sent a message to Jesus, asking Jesus to come and heal his servant. The people who delivered the message said the centurion was a good man. They said Jesus should do this for him. So Jesus went with them. When they got near, the centurion sent his friends to tell Jesus that he was not good enough to have Jesus in his home. That's why he didn't come to Jesus himself. But the centurion asked Jesus to say the words from where he was and the man would be healed. Since he was a leader of people, he knew all about having the power to say, do this or do that. The centurion believed that Jesus could say, get out to this sickness and this illness, and it would have to do it. The man would be well. Jesus was amazed at the centurion's faith. Jesus said to the crowd, even in Israel, I haven't found anyone who has faith as strong as this man. Jesus meant that. Jesus meant that even with his best friends, no one believed in him as much as this. The centurion's friends went back to the house and found that the man who was sick was healed. And they knew, wow, Jesus has the power to heal. means that if Jesus talked to my ouchie, like I tried to do, it would actually have to listen. That is cuckoo bananas bonkers. But it's true. Next time you're not feeling well, or you know someone else who isn't, talk to Jesus. 
Sometimes he will heal right away like today's Bible story. And other times, he will heal some time later. But no matter what, we can talk to him about any kind of ouchie. Because wow, Jesus has the power to heal. Dear Jesus, can you please heal my ouchie? It really hurts and I'd like it to go away. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> you don't stand a chance, ouchie. Hmm, I wonder, what does Jesus' healing power make you want to do, friends? Does it make you want to dance? Okay, let's dance! Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Remember, Wow! Jesus has the power to heal!